Welcome. We're standing right here at the Future Inn of Potter's Inn Ministry. Step by step, we've been able to make progress just like that fireplace uh, shows. And it's all through the wonderful help and the gracious support of our donors. Come on in. I'm ready to take you for a tour. There's a lot of rubble, a lot of equipment, but this is as it is. Just like transformation happens step by step, so the whole progress of the barn happens. So I want you to come in and you're going to come into the great room. And here you'll see a fabulous room that's been, these used to be stalls in the barn for cows and donkeys and llama. And here, now it's going to change into a wonderful meeting place for groups up to 30, 35 people. This is a German designed fireplace called the Rumford Fireplace. And it's specially designed, you can see the wolf head down there, that's an intake for the outside air so it doesn't suck the air from the room. And it's a shallow design to be able to throw the heat out and heat the room. So we're told that fireplace alone will heat the entire, cunt, the whole uh, interior of our meeting space. We took out the hayloft. You can't see much of it right here, but uh, one of the beams, through two beams right here, we'll have a wagon chandelier with red, um, a wagon wheel chandelier with red lanterns hanging down. And we've already bought a big oxen yoke to go over our fireplace with the words inscribed in wood, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden. Come this way, and I'll take you into the conference room. This is our conference room where groups can use this faci facility for a day retreat. And also, this will be floor-to-ceiling bookshelves. And on this wall, it's already prepared, it's where we're gonna hang Rembrandt's Return of the Prodigal, which is a real high hallmark piece of art for our ministry, showing the Father blessing that beloved son. Come on this way and we'll walk through here and you'll see a serving area where this will, a wonderful narrow table will be built here, our contractor's going to build it. And we're trying to maintain the integrity of the barn all of the electricity's in. This is in-floor radiant heat. We've got it protected because the floor is stamped and scored. Come on into the kitchen. This is going to be the hub, and it's already ready for the cabinets. And I'm so happy to tell you that Olathe Bible Church in Kansas City, Missouri, is donating all of the wood, all of the labor, and they are building all of the cabinets for this huge kitchen and utility area. So stove here, sink here, refrigerator, front loader, washer and dryer to service all the bedrooms and some cabinets. Come on up now and we'll go upstairs to the breakout rooms. And upstairs, we'll send people in small groups upstairs to form small groups and just share together in an intimate setting what um, they're learning and how they're processing. These actually can also become bedrooms for additional lodging, but good size great rooms that will easily uh, feature a queen bed, perhaps a Murphy bed on the wall. Full bathroom here. And come on this way and we'll see a couple of more breakout rooms. Here's another one. And a third breakout room. <laughs> For those of you that are alumni of Potter's Inn, this is the room where you might have had your soul care intensive because this was the only room finished. Come outside and you'll see a beautiful view on a deck where you can begin to capture some of the glory of God. You can see the prayer trail down here that extends around to the lake. And then up on the summit, up to the right, you can see the fire ring and the shelter. All right, come on down. We're gonna go back downstairs now. And we wanna show you the three bedroom, three bath apartment. We're so excited because a mission team from Fort Collins came down, a Lutheran church, and in just three days they framed the apartment. 
And this apartment is where pastors might be able to stay on sabbatical, missionaries could stay. And it's attached here, but would also be closed off. So this will give you some idea. And what, ma what makes sense. I'll go stand into the living room. And you can see, I'm in the living room and it's about a 20 by 15 size living room with a galley kitchen here. And then three bedrooms with three baths, each bedroom having their own private bath. So we're excited um, just to be able to share and come on out to the front yard here and see kind of some of the scenes. Here we are, now you're outside. And so the whole barn, we designed it to stay as a barn and not try to turn it into anything else because we just wanted to maintain it. So our contractor is making all of the doors with that famous barn X theme on interior door shots but this is what you see and already you can see that we've been able to use this just a couple of weeks ago we had 168 people here for an open house when we invited them to come thanks so much for standing with us and we just wanted you to see this update to understand the progress when you think of a football field being a hundred yards we're right about at the 10 yard line. That's how close we are to the finish. And with your help uh, and your graciousness, we just invite you to stand with us to help complete this barn. We are at a goal of trying to raise $50,000 to completely finish the barn. That's, that's our goal. And step by step, gift by gift, every person can make a difference. Thank you so much for standing with us and for supporting the ministry of Potter's Inn and Potter's Inn at Aspen Ridge.